Jack Monet, and recently we've uh, come up with Awakening to Our Awful Situation, Warnings from the Nephite Prophets. It's a book that was originally written in 2007, and it was written responding to President Hinckley's uh, admonition to members of the church to read the Book of Mormon. If you recall that in 2005, he asked all of us to read the Book of Mormon. Most people did. And in the process, there were a number of books that were published at that time. Uh, and they were mostly on things like geography, uh, some on doctrine, but nothing really treated the warnings in the Book of Mormon to our generation. And so this book uh, was written in 2006, published in 2007, and it contains the warnings that are there. It takes the writings of J. Rubin Clark, Jr., of uh, David O. McKay, of uh, Ezra Taft Benson, Cleon Scouts, and others, and it looks at how they have interpreted and how we interpret today the the meanings of the Book of Mormon warnings for you and I. That book was sold out. Uh, there were originally 10,000 copies that were printed. It was sold out in uh, after the first year. And people had asked me to write another one or to write a sequel to that or an updated version. And so I did write a sequel. It was book two, Awakening to Off the Situation, Responding to Satan's War on Agency. This one gets into more history than the other did, and still takes the Book of Mormon as its, uh, as its leader there. Um, however, people were still asking for that first edition to be reprinted. And so we've done that. Uh, it will be off the press the first week in August, and that will have the, uh, the first, uh, or again, again, be the second edition of that first book. To get an idea of the things that are in there, Probably it would be good to read a little bit from the Table of Contents. And uh, <clears throat> in the Table of Contents, we find things like looking at Moroni's warning, trying to analyze the Book of Mormon itself, and looking at what was said. Abuses of the Constitution and the intents of the framers. Where do secret combinations fit into this? Wars and rumors of wars. Of course, people today ask, are all wars patriotic, or do they have another agenda? Uh, toward a one world government, the United Nations. Media control, why didn't I hear this on the 10 o'clock news? Or education, uh, what is a parent to do? What is public education? Gadiant is in real time, and the various application in today's world. What we've done, what we've done with this, again, is try to bring this into uh, a platform where members of the church can understand where we stand as a church and where the doctrine stands as far as understanding events, world events, and global events. We have a number of Latter-day Saints who are confused now, and they're saying, where does the church stand on these various issues? The church has never changed its position. It's always stood in the same place. And all this book does is take the writings of the speakers and bring that into focus.